So I'm looking for, okay, this, you see right here, this is a key line in, in, his, um, in his image. You see this, this wrinkle that comes from here down to the center of his arm, to his elbow, just about right there. We may think not much of it, but it's very important because it, it creates a pattern of where his shirt, where does it fall, where does that crisscross cross happen? Right about there. So I'm looking for intersections of lines to tell me where those uh, diagonal lines are hitting for his shirt. And I'm looking for um, exactly how to pull it together. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to look for angles intersecting so that it creates a steady flow of lines that are in the right place. And the reason I do that is I look at where does this fall underneath of the eye and how far over is that. Well, that lip is coming too far over, so I'm always a checking my distance between that point there and the edge of the face. If I can see more of that, then I need to move my line out. If I can see less of it, I'm constantly aware of that. What do I see? What do I see? I'm always asking myself, what do I see? Not what I think. Is what you think gets in the way of your drawing skills. If you think too much, if you don't, if you, I mean, you can understand all these rules that I give you about how anatomy works and about the, the general, generalization of exactly how a person looks next to another person and relatively how they're similar. But until you're in front of that person, you don't know that person. And so all of those rules that you've learned are important, but they fall by the wayside to what you see. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Okay, so I'm looking at the chin. I'm looking for how thick is this shadow? How wide is the highlight? On the right, on the left hand side, underneath of his mouth here. And at this point, I can redraw that chin to a point where I like it because I follow that around the mouth. I've decided this is exactly in the right place here, so I can follow that. I can look at the shape of the lip here relative to that lip there, and I can look at that line there and what is the shape is there. Okay, now this shadow comes up right in there, comes into this area here. Because vine charcoal wipes off so easily, I'm always re restating that shadow because I've smoothed it out a little bit. Now I want to just uh, get it a little bit darker. Looking for the bottom of the cheek. That was your why. That was my why. That's my why. You see my why? Okay, it's really why. obvious right there. Yeah. The block letter even. You got blocks in your ears. <laughs> Hopefully no no parents ever said that to you. <laughs> Almost said. Did your mom say that? No, mom said that. I know your mom. Okay, so soften it out. Again, I lose it but I lose it just enough that it's still there to define it and I can come back in and find my highlights again and I can lift some of that value out so it doesn't look like a block letter anymore. 
finding